students, we continue again our tutorial 5.7, that's the electromagnetic wave. Okay, let's see the first question. They ask you which one is a non-electromagnetic wave. So from here we find it, there's a sound wave. If called the sound is not related. The sound speed and also not like the light. So that means there's a not EM wave. Okay, number two, which one following has a lower speed? Lower speed sure also is a sound wave. So from here we check which one is a sound wave. White light, white light is a visible light. Radio wave, ultraviolet radiation, subsonic, subsonic wave with a sound wave. So D should be the answer. Okay, number three, which one following is a common properties of the EM? So common properties, same wavelength. Uh, after that, same frequency. So wavelength and frequency also different. So that's a not common properties. Okay, they have the same speed in vacuum. Yes, there's a speed of light. So the answer is C. Okay, number four, they give you the letter I, uh, I, U, R, X, V. So from here, we need to check out which one following arrangement electromagnetic wave is ascending frequency. So that means from the smallest until biggest. So the smaller I find it, there's a radio wave. There's a R. So that means my answer either B, either donkey. So we check again. Okay, after the radio must be the micro, but the micro not here. So there's an infrared. So then should be R I V U X. So we check is it a V? Okay, V is a visible. Okay, after that the U U uh, ultraviolet, then the X is X ray. So the answer should be donkey. Okay, now it's question 5. Which one is a true for X-ray and also red light? Red light means visible light. So X-ray is longitudinal. No, so A is wrong. High speed, low speed, wrong. Both speed must be the same. Short wavelength, long wavelength. Yes. Okay, because the X-ray is a high frequency, so the wavelength becomes shorter. Then we check D also. Can travel through vacuum, cannot travel. So D also wrong. So the answer should be C. Okay, after that, let's see the spectrum. So, they ask you what's the region for the P. Okay, this one is a gamma. Before gamma is a X-ray. 7, one of the foreign devices that does not make up using the EM in the operation. So, which one is it? So, not related with the EM. Camera, yes. Camera is a visible light. TV set, yes. That's using the infrared. Handphone, that's a using radio. So the loudspeaker is no. Because loudspeaker is related with the sound wave. So the answer is A. Okay, number 8. At A port, a passenger, the bag is placed on the baggage scanner. Okay, so this one is a diagram. They ask you, the bag are examined by the, using the X-ray. So number 9, which one is the correct relationship between the wavelength and also the energy? So normally... Uh, Frequency high, energy high is it. So from here we find it wavelength short, energy high. Wavelength short means the frequency high. So the answer is A. Okay, 10. This one is a remove control. So there's a type of the infrared. Okay, now we go 11 structure question. Okay, we see the diagram first. P, Q, and R. So before, uh, after... That means we can say further lah, further the radio, what is that? This one, R should be the micro. Okay, after that, okay, after you're hungry, you take microwave food, then you go to see the TV, is it? Okay, when you watch the TV using the infrared, then you're on the light, visible light. Okay, next day, go to school, PJ. So this one should be UV light, okay? Then X-ray, then gamma ray. So we're going to check the answer. So P... That's a UV light. Q is a infrared. R is a microwave. Okay, what is the speed of the electromagnetic wave in the vacuum? So there's a speed of light, is it? So we just mentioned 3 times 10 power of 8. Okay, name the apparatus to detect the gamma ray. So this one, I think you not you not yet study about that. So I give you the answer. There's a GM tube. Actually, it's a Geiger-Muller tube. They can detect alpha, beta, and gamma. So, uh, this one we choose it as the best one because they can show what is the number of the gamma ray. Okay, now we go in D. Name a source to produce by the Q. Q is the infrared. So, the source is from the sun. 
Okay, E, name a wave that can cause about skin burn. Skin burn, uh, not skin cancer. So skin burn is an infrared. Okay, now we need to complete the following table. Okay, users for the satellite transmission. Okay, just now I told you satellite must be microwave. Okay, to identify the counterfeit node. So they want to check is it the document is true or not. They're using the UV light. Okay, now it's a question 12. Okay, for the airport, the radar transmitter microwave signal. Microwave are transmitted to determine the position of the aeroplane. Okay, first one, microwave is what type of wave? You can say there's a electromagnetic wave also can. You also can say that there's a transverse wave. Okay, now we need to do the calculation. Okay, rather transmitted at a signal of a velocity, okay, speed of light, towards to the aeroplane P. Then detect refracted signal. Okay, this one is a uh, time taken. So I want to make sure this one time taken, they say later. Later means two way. Agree? You send the signal, then you receive. Then you measure the time. Is it the time already is a two way distance? Okay? So then the velocity sure is a two way because they start to send the wave by using this velocity. But now the question they want to count distance P only. So that means I do want two way distance, I just one way. So that means later your answer you need to divide by two. Because all the info here is a two way. So I show the calculation. First one, three times 10 power of eight is a V. Okay, after that, remember the velocity formula, V equal displacement over time. But now the displacement here is a two displacement. So I put 2D over the time. Okay, now I find out what is a 2D first. 1.2 times 10 power of 5. But I just want one distance. I just want the distance P and also the rudder. So I need to divide by 2. 6 times 10 power of 4. Okay, so this one is the calculation. Okay, the last question. The rudder, they detect the same signal after the refraction by another aeroplane Q. So the signal from the Q arrive later than the signal P. So can you compare the distance P and Q? Sure, it's a Q further because you detect it later, is it? So from here, we find it. Distance for the aeroplane Q should be further compared to the P. So we complete the tutorial of the 5.7. So from here, hope you check it and also mark it. So if you don't understand, you can PM me. I will discuss with you. Thank you.